Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In today's video, I'd like to go to the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the Realme X2 Pro versus the Poco F3 G device. Let's see, in this kind of RAM management and speed test, I'll try to use the 10 games which are completely mini games only as you can see friends. And the Realme X2 Pro has got the Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset and 8GB RAM variant. And Poco F3 GT has got the Dimensity 1200 chipset. Let's see which phone will be able to open these games faster and how much difference we can actually expect between these both phones. So that's what I'm going to exactly check in this video. First, let's start the test by doing the reboot test. Let's see which phone will be able to restart faster. And the Snapdragon 855 Plus versus Dimensity 1200. And this phone I'm trying to use for the past one and a half year. That's uh, how old it is phone, the Realme X2 Pro, yes. One and a half year I'm trying to use this phone only. So I, I still have this one. I think this is one of the oldest phone which I'm having right now in my studio, the Realme X2 Pro. I think apart from mi max 3 mi max 3 is my i think three to four years kind of hold this three years i think so the mi max 3 is my oldest phone that's a, i forgot about this phone itself yeah the first phone to boot up is the poco f3 gt yes the first phone that's a good unstoppable let me to quickly open the both phones yes both phones unlocked perfect and let me to try to keep that games ready all these 10 games yep so 10 games are completely ready friends and these are completely offline based games so we don't require any kind of wi-fi connection at all so in this process of demonstration, let me do clear everything from the background. Yes, all the apps are completely clean from the background. As you can see, RAM availability, how much it is? 4.51 GB and 5 GB out of 8 GB is available. So let's start the speed test without wasting any time. So first application, first game is a Subway Surf. Let's see which phone can actually open this uh, Subway Surf faster. And I'm not using any kind of uh, game turbo mode or any kind of game space, nothing. So I'm not run. I did not add any kind of games in the game turbo and next is a uh, canny crush so you can see the difference how much it is between these both phones in terms of the opening games so that is what i'm going to compare so not bad and temple run let's see let's observe the difference how much difference you can see actually between both phones i think uh, not much difference snapdragon 855 plus and not much so maybe when you when we open the big games so then we might be able to feel the difference so yep the poco f3 gt did open slightly faster and these are crossy roads let's see this game poco f3 gt as you can see the snapdragon 855 slightly performed not not faster the snapdragon 855 plus and when this game also opened first in the poco f3 gt not bad. Next is a L crime racing. So overall, I think Amazon games were opening faster in the Poco F3 GT, which has got Dimensity 1200 chipset. As you can see the difference, how they are. And Angry Birds, let's see this game. Yes, most of the games are opening first yep, in the Poco F3 GT. So in case if you want me to do any other side-by-side -side comparison, let me know in the comment section below. I'll, I do have plans to do the Battlegrounds Mobile like, comparison as well side-by-side -side between both phones. So definitely I'll try to uh, upload those videos as soon as possible. So finally friends, 10 games are completely open in both phones at this moment as you can see. From the Subway Surf to everything is completely open in both phones. No issues. Now let me try to uh, open these games one by one. So let's start from the back side. Let's see how many games will be open in the RAM management. And Elk RAM Racing, not bad. Yep, the Realme X2 Pro did hold the four games in the background RAM management and this is the fifth game so first row has been successfully finished between both phones and both phones are able to perform really good in the fifth row first uh, this second row and let's go to the top row which is a smash it let's see which phone can open smash it no problem the realme x2 pro did perform really good as you can see it did open the sixth game as well six games till now and still counting let's see friends and the seventh game which is a temple run whether the realme x2 x2 pro can actually make it or not let me not open for the multitasking just to show you yes one two three not bad at all as you can see even seventh game also opened in the realme x x2 pro device snapdragon 855 plus chipset seven games that's fantastic friends that is the reason i'm trying to op show you from the multitasking only and here's a gateway to where's that game yeah let's start this this is the 8th game, 1, 2, 3, I'm not sure, but let's see. Wow, even 8 games are completely open in the Realme X2 Pro. I'm not surprised about the Poco F3 GT because I do already know about the Poco F3 GT, but I'm really surprised about the Realme X2 Pro, how it can actually perform. 8 games, 
it's fantastic fans without using any kind of high performance mode nothing at all can crush nine games wow i think the realme x2 pro is really optimized for this kind of multitasking the snapdragon processor which is present in this phone so that is what we can expect maybe in the realme gt series which is releasing very soon so that's okay friends only nine games were completely open in this phone in the realme x2 pro device out of 10 games that's really good to see this kind of uh, performance in this phone even after one and a half year of using this phone and multiple software updates and a lot of usage and these are the results i'll try to use this kind of comparison with the oneplus Nord 2 comparing side by side in case if possible so thank you for watching this video friends and this is a quick and short video which i thought of keeping very very simple close to five minutes only and these are the complete results and poco f3 gt is winner in the speed test and ram management test as well realme x2 pro did really good job i can definitely say that not bad at all even after long time usage so thank you for watching and see you in the next video friends and then straight up for more updates meanwhile signing off Bye.